Welcome back to our Guild Wars 1 playthrough of Prophecies. Uh, we are... Oh, there's people here. I'm always surprised by people. Uh, we left off in the Iron Mines of Moladune, and I plan to do that this episode. But we did also get some skill recommendations, elite skill recommendations from our... Uh, uh, from the uh, very loyal comment commenter Tar Heel and guild wars uh tin kill and they recommended we pick up two skills one being energy drain i think is the name of it and the other is called ineptitude i think we can go ahead you said we can go ahead and go back to Drachnar's forge to cap it there uh i'm not sure how long it's going to take to do it i might speed this up but i wanted to go ahead and record myself doing it uh, but yeah, if you guys ever have any recommendations you think I'm, I, I like, will enhance this playthrough and ideas, whatever you want me to try out, builds, you name it, I am absolutely down for that. Uh, so just hit me with your, hit me with your recommendations. I kind of want to change my build a little bit too. Let me think about it. Might speed this up a little bit. Oh. Uh... Yeah, okay. I think we decided to... I remember mentioning um, Incendiary Bonds before. It gives us 5 energy overcast, but it's relatively fast to recharge. And it might be fun to use with our Fragility. It's an AoE Hex also. That kind of... Oh, and nearby foes. It's actually slightly bigger radius than Fragility. I don't know. I'm kind of interested in it. Let's see how it works out. It has a fast... It has a pretty high, high average damage. And it has a fast um, recharge. Or, um... What am I trying to say? It has a quick, like, condition duration. Which will proc twice of fragil uh, Fragility twice. We'll see about it. We're looking for a mesmer, uh, mesmer boss to cap energy drain. I think that's the right skill. We're gonna be going around this area. I don't think I've ever explored here. I honestly don't even remember there being another explorable area from Rockner's Forge. I always went up Talus Chute. So this is pretty new to me. I don't think there's much reason to go over there other than for skill capturing, so. Try it out. So 19 on fire. Head in. Oof. Big burst damage. There's a slight, actually, you know what? There's a slight duration, three seconds of after three seconds they're set on fire. So I might, I might want to use this immediately after fragility and then phantom pain and shattered illusion. So then it'll be a little bit more bursty in the timings. It should take me about three seconds to get off phantom pain and shattered illusions. Or we'll get multiple procs of our our condition fragility damage but you know our henchmen are pretty strong here so they're, they're gonna be tearing people up before we get a chance okay. the volume is a little high so i need to adjust that i'm not even sure is it, there's a boss alana kept kept Looks like a caster, maybe a monk boss. We'll see. And then Crippling Anguish just does a ton of degeneration. Low casting cost, low casting time, cooldown. It's a really good skill, actually. Really solid. Like, almost three skills in one. 
Oh, it's a warrior boss right here. Good interrupt that signet. That's a lot of steel. This this has a lot more yellow uh, numbers popping up. I'm liking it. Oh, I just realized I'm still using domination <laughs> without any without any uh, domination skills. Actually, that is not good. My bad. Okay, we're still testing out this build. I just now noticed. I thought... Yeah. I probably should have... I don't know. We'll we'll touch up the skill or the, the build a little bit when we get back to town. Commenters are probably... <laughs> you guys are probably screaming at me. You didn't put any domination. What are you doing? Oh, let's see. How do we get down there? It's a uh, it's an elementalist boss anyway. I saw the little red glow, right? I'm not crazy. I mean, yeah, it's red. But we can just keep following this path. It seems like. Intricate Grawl Necklace. We got three of them already. We should try and find a collector. Maybe we can finally get a new uh, weapon. That was another comment uh, pointing out that I have only three pips of energy generation. And that's because, yeah, it's because of this weapon here. Energy regeneration minus one. Don't mind us. We're just creeping by. Okay. A robo dim dim that sounds like yeah it's a ranger boss it looks like oh it's a collector azure remains collector no need to fight bosses unnecessarily a pillow a pillow whoop whoop <laughs> the grawl names are just <laughs> yeah the naming of enemies in this game is just really hilarious the monk boss. It's fine if he casts mend condition actually. It just procs our um procs our fragility even more. Ooh, we got interrupted there. I mean, this crippling anguish. I can't remember what the max health, did, like degeneration pip. Is it minus eight or minus ten? I think it's minus. I want to say it's minus ten. But I'm honestly, I can't remember. But anyway, crippling anguish plus, um, like poison. So that combination will surely get the max amount of degeneration, right? But that's where that's the direction of the the uh, elementalist. Go this away. The goal today is to capture this skill. Um. We need to get to Mineral Springs, apparently, to get the Ineptitude skill. So I'm not sure if we're going to capture that this video or not. But I also want to do the 15 Attribute Quests. Oh, these are Smiting Monk enemies. Okay. Black Bears. It's a really cool 
region. Very cool. Random boat over here. Is there an outpost over here? It looks like that's an outpost. What is this place? Maybe not. It's just boat. We need to go over this way, maybe. Yeah, it would be really weird if there's an outpost this close to Drachnars. It almost looks like there used to be an outpost here. Right? Very cool. Oh, it is an outpost. Port Sledge. Never heard of this place. Comment below if you've heard of Port Sledge. What the heck? Oh, there's an intricate Grawl collector over here. I really can't believe there's still so much content I've never seen in this game. Girl staff, nothing for us. Come on. Like, that's a really good staff for a monk. Like, pretty, oh, that's not a great scroll for a elementalist. Pretty decent for a blood necromancer. Guess we'll hang on to these. Maybe there's some skill quests here? I don't know. Port Sledge. What? Why are there... Like a whole plan of... Okay. Skill merchant here. What's the point of this place? Very interesting. Any skills that I need to know of? Always the same list, it seems. Back in the day, like, these skill merchants would sell, like, specific skills that you need to track. You, you would need to come here and track them down in order to get specific skills. Okay. Um, let's go over to this area, maybe. We're going to be backpacking a bit, so I'm going to speed this up. Okay, yeah, it looks like we found... Oh, it's an imp boss. Snick Hungry Mind, that's gotta be it, right? Right. Just for future reference, the Mesmer boss with energy drain is right over here. Ouch. Nice interrupt, dude. Not so bad. Okay. And we got energy drain. Target foe loses five energy. You gain three energy for each point lost. My inspiration skill is quite low. So if we're going to use this, we're going to need to raise that up a bit. Okay, let's go back to Iron Mines of Moladoon. And we need to do the 
Uh, 15 attribute quest, which is out here. Okay, we are ready to try this at 15 attribute quest uh, in the frozen forest. We changed our abilities a little bit. We're going to be switching to a full domination build. And it's a really tough area, actually. Uh, so I want to make full usage of this energy drain. That's kind of why we're trying this out. The idea of this build is we're going to be shutting down uh, attacking enemies, casting enemies with these high energy skills, cost skills, with the idea that we'll be able to afford them with our reliable energy um, generation. Oops. Cast empathy on the wrong guy. And like we're using a superior rune of domination and empathy now does 55 damage per attack which is pretty massive and then we gain 18 energy for a cost of five um pretty nice i feel like the target losing i mean our our inspiration is a little bit low it's level nine i feel like i feel like it should be a little bit more powerful though six energy loss that's it we're also using mantra of frost because we're fighting these ice golems that just they're really annoying to deal with I'm not sure if backfire was the right skill to bring because our team does have a lot of interrupts. But if they do happen to get some spells off, it's 140 damage. So that's quite a huge punishment. We're going to head down this way. We're going to go this south way here. I think that's the best way to go. Need to be really careful about over ag aggroing. Some of these enemy um, groups are deceptively large. Oh, that's a ranger. Passed it on this dude. And then 25 damage per second. That's Chaos Storm is really strong now. You know what we could have done also is used arcane echo but that's a pretty massive cost along with chaos storm and we can get we can be using double chaos storms that would be not a bad idea either i feel like the energy drain gives a lot of it's it's a very versatile skill being inspiration i'm probably not using it there's probably a better build i could be using with it but it's my first time using this skill I need to make sure I'm spamming uh, empathy at all times. It's just loads of damage. Ah, wrong interrupt. Okay. Is that a ranger arc rural deep root? I can never tell if it's a. Ra I think it's a ranger. Looking for the Necromancer plant boss. Yeah, it's a ranger enemy. These guys. Ice imps are very, very annoying to deal with. We can backfire on them. Look at that 140 damage. Oof. Domination puts up some just gigantic numbers, damage numbers. Still like the fragility builds just for how like active it is. And I like how it chains together, how the abilities chain together nicely. But as far as just flat damage, this is a 
Domination's a pretty solid heal line. I really hope we find the Necromancer boss on this run. Like we're about halfway there. Oh, so cry of frustration is not just an interrupt for skill, it's any any or a spell, it's any skill. AoE damage, really nice. I really don't even need Le Leech Signet, honestly. I'm bringing Leech Signet as interrupt and energy renewal, but or energy generation, but we honestly don't need it too much. These are smiting monks. Yeah, I'm just kind of guessing when they're gonna use this skill. I think eventually I'm just gonna not bring any interrupts. It's just, just dead, a dead skill on my skill bar. Whoa, we excellently aggroed that team, didn't we? A warrior, oh, he's got cleave. Okay, that was a nice interrupt. Dang, that was an explosion. No heals for you, buddy. And then it does minus 15 damage per attack, too. Empathy is very solid. Hmm. Better just use backfire on the Mesmer. Should I head down there actually? No, I think this is a this is a good way to go. Oh, that's the mo that's the uh the boss that we need. Good damage. A lot of monk enemies. What's wrong? Yeah. trouble in this area but we're moving now I think this is the way to go if not I might need to head down there actually yeah we're going the wrong way I think hard to tell from the minimap honestly oh yeah I need to capture that skill virulence so this skill is gonna be really good for our uh, Fragility build. If target foe wa was already suffering from a condition, that foe suffers from disease, poison, weakness for three seconds. Okay, we can't go that way. We need to go down and around. Yeah, we went the wrong way, but we ended up with getting the elite skill that we wanted. Okay. Head up this way. 
Looks like there's a boss up there too. Barrel, Barrel Storm Sea. The Stone Summit enemies, we're gonna have plenty of time to capture their skills because we're gonna be fighting them in missions, in the missions to come. Oops. I'm really excited to finish this quest because this plus 15 attributes will mean we are complete as far as our stats go. Almost a straight shot there. Casting backfire on them, but they're not able to get any skills off actually. Oh, yeah, let's use my elite to get energy. I should never hear my character say out of energy. If that happens, I'm using my skills incorrectly. Whoops. Yeah. I mean, huge part of... Oh, we aggroed that group down there. Huge part of Mesmer is just not wasting your abilities like I'm doing. I mean, I'm level 20 now. I've been playing this character for hours. And still, I cannot seem to efficiently use my skills. Full potential. This cry of frustration damages all foes in the area. That's a huge damaging radius, actually. Even when we get to her, though, we someone we need to fight. It's not just like the last attribute quest. It was just a matter of getting there. And then we get the 15 attributes. We actually need to do some battling. Not going to make it easy for us. Retribution and Holy Wrath, but it only does like one damage to us. Let's not aggro that enemy team. Move back, move back, move back. If we had aggroed that group, I think it would have been that would have been it for us. Take out this stone summit or this Goliath master. about there I mean, we're at the copperhead mo copper hammer mines actually i think that's like the next mission area isn't it i'm not planning on skipping any missions 
but we might go ahead and go to this talk to her might as well go to this copper hammer mine since we're already here let's see if you are as powerful as she thinks follow me looks scary said follow me but okay Moraga spawn. What is Moraga spawn? It just popped up. Isn't this a faction's enemy? Oh, got deleted. She's got purge signals. Did you go a little faster? The creatures here know better than to harm me, but you may have to fight. Well, if they know better not to fight you, that probably means for not very safe to be around. And you do look like a witch. Getting stuck? I don't understand. Are you following me or am I following you? I guess we just need to go to these sections. She basically says she doesn't need our protection, so not too worried about her. Oh, she doesn't move unless we're near her, though. Come on. Oh, do we need to kill this thing? If you would kill the enemy more quickly, I would not be forced to wait for you. Oh, got it. This is a tedious quest. Hurry comes way easy. Why are you telling me to hurry? You're getting on my nerves, Sonya. Don't give up now. We're getting close. Yeah, the only reason I'm going to give up is if you do not speed up. Come on. Okay. What do you want? This definitely looks like a trap. I hope that was not too difficult. I know it must seem odd that I would lead you through so much danger, but I had to see your power for myself. I've lived in these mountains for many, many years, survived dangers you can scarcely imagine. Due to this, I have relied on surrounding myself with powerful people. I see where this is going. Come on. It actually, it is kind of tough. Let's take out the ads first.
Okay. I was getting a little, little hairy. Okay, uh, return to Vanyi for your ward. Before we do that, I'm gonna backtrack really quick to the Copperhead Mines, because we might as well, right? I'm gonna speed this up. Backtrack. All right, we're here in Copper Hammer Mines. Oh, no, this is not a mission area. This is just an explorable outpost. Um, okay, and then we go back to Jocknar's Forge, turn this quest in. We are done. This is Vanyi. I have some bad news about your sister, Vanyi. She was worshipping an evil... Demon? Spirit? And tried to s tried to eat us. So we put her down. Can you reward us now? And Vanya's much better looking than her sister, I must say. Take your hand, close your spell blade. Allow me to explain. My father was the famed Agustin in of Ascalon's Chosen. Many years ago, he brought us to the mountains to leave behind the strife of guild warfare. One day, we were set upon by that demon. Oh, it was a demon. Muraga. It consumed my father and cast a spell on me, binding me to its will. For most of my life, I have been its prisoner, forced to lead the, un the unexpecting, unsuspecting to their doom. It, was all it always wanted me to seek out the most powerful, for it drew its strength from those it absorbed. But you are a true hero. You are too powerful for the demon, and now I am free. I will forever be in your debt. All right. I guess you can go this... I'll let you go this once. As long as you reward us 15 attributes... Look at that. We are fully powerful now. Full attributes, level 20, full armor. We got elite skills coming up now. Um, I'm going to switch back over to the fragility build for the next episode. But yeah, let's end it here. We, did, we captured uh, two, two elite skills. We got our plus 15 attributes. And next, we will go to, we'll do the Iron Mines of Moladun. So stay with me, everyone. We're going to be finishing up Prophecies in just how many, maybe five, six more videos left in this campaign. So I'll keep them coming. All right, until next time, peace.